Okay, all right. So in today's lesson, um, we are going to do lesson four, which is proportionality in graphs. Meaning this: if you realize that two or more fractions are in proportion to one another, there is a way of representing that in a graph. All right, which is why we had to do that stock the shelves game in class. And so, uh, let's get some definitions down. So on the right side here. Uh, I have some notes. So what's unit rate, right? So in, we've done unit rate already in the last lesson, lesson three, and also in class. So you already know what unit rate is. It's something out of one, right? Uh, in a graph, that is called a constant of proportionality. These things are the same. They're one, they're one and the same thing. Unit rate is the constant of proportionality. Okay, just so that we, just so that we know that. Uh, and the, letter we use is the letter k to represent that all right uh if the ratios are in proportion meaning if all your ratios are equivalent essentially right in proportion the line that you draw is gonna be straight it's no so no like crooked line like that it won't look like that and it's gonna start from the origin now what's the origin again where is it uh specifically speaking right it starts at the coordinate zero zero okay and then thirdly if you see the graph right so for example what I'm saying is if you see the graph on the test so if I do the graph for you on a test can you tell me what the unit rate is as well as the equation meaning this the equation y equals k x where k again stands for the constant of proportionality. That's why I'm drawing this long arrow here. Okay, so having said that, uh, the best way to do this is to do a few examples. So let's start. So for number one, right here, I need, first of all, I'm gonna just give you a good old ratio table and uh, we're gonna have to fill it out and then we'll graph it from scratch. Okay, so this video might take a little bit longer than the usual ones. Now, think about that, right? If you have one over six, it would be two over what? Think about that. Yeah, two over 12, right? Because two over 12 is still one six, right? It'll be three over what? Yeah, 18. And if it's eight, it'll be eight over what? Yep, 48, right? Because eight times six is 48, right? So, now we're gonna graph this. So what I'm gonna do is this. Uh, let's see, one, six. So here I'm gonna start with the origin at zero, zero. I'm gonna go like this. One, as a matter of fact, I think I could skip like this. So skip two boxes for every number. Three, four, five. All right, and I'll stop right there. Now, also, I want to tell you, so these since it comes first, that's the x value, that's the y value, okay? And as I have spent some time talking about in class. Now, uh, what about the numbers? So, so this is one, two, three, right? So these are the numbers down here, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna do six, 12, 18. So I'm gonna do it like this. I can just skip two, two boxes and do just six. And I can skip two boxes and do 12. Skip two boxes and do, what is that? 18. And if you choose to, you skip two boxes to 24 because that's what four is, right? Four here, four up here. If there was a four up here, it would be 24. 
right? So yeah, let me do one more. Yeah, that's thirty. So here I'm gonna plot the points. Let me use a different color. Let's just use a uh, green. So one is six. Now I made a mistake already. Actually, I can't believe it. I should really skip two boxes because the line's not gonna. The line's gonna be a little bit crooked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this. Okay. So if you did that also, all right, you can fix it too. I can't believe I did that. I never do that. All right. One. Oh, I know why. Because I thought I was gonna skip one. That's why. All right. Now I learned something. Okay. All right, so let's plot some points. Now, at the same time, these are the coordinates. So if you see this table, your first coordinate is one comma six, right? Remember the coordinate system, right? It's x, y, x comma y. So it's all the x values coming first, one, six, the second one, two, 12, by the way, so this is what we call this table right here, this ratio table. We don't call it a ratio table per se. We call it a table of values. And then the last point is 848. So 1, 6. Two twelve, three eighteen. Yes, yeah, yeah, looks much better. Four is twenty four, by the way, and then five is thirty. And I'm gonna connect that. So I'm gonna do it. Try to do it very, very professionally. I am going to use a ruler. So this is why this video takes a little bit of a long time. It's just so many topics. in one video and just so much stuff to do. I'm gonna connect the dots. By the way, don't connect it like this, where it doesn't go through the origin. It has to start at the origin, go like that. I'm gonna draw an arrow here because it, keep, it can keep going forever and ever. This line, right? Keep going up straight like so. And then, um, now, we still got a label. So here's the thing. Uh, you still got to label that as x axis. That is the y axis. All right. Now, since there's no title, right? Like, because this is not a word problem. You can leave the graph. You don't. You don't have to label the x-axis here, nor the y-axis. Okay. So let's see. Now, there's no title either, because right now it's just a word problem. So, first question. Question A. All right. Is the graph proportional? Yes. Why? Straight line through the origin. At zero zero. Now, what's the constant of proportionality? So, in other words, what's the unit rate? You can do this. You can look over here. You see that when you go up six, you go across one. So it's actually one six, right? Now you don't have to label this point. I just want to. I just want to show you. So this point right here is one six, right? So in order to find the constant of proportionality, all you have to do is divide every y value by the x value. So here's what I mean. Six over one, what's that? Yeah, six, right? Now think about this. What's 12 over two? Yeah, six. So you see what's going on here? So the constant proportionality is the same number. The unit rate, in other words, is six. What's the equation? So the equation is, it's always y equals something x. What do you put in there? Yep, the k. So instead of y equals kx, you put the 6 in there. Now, and then you'll do that by also writing the equation here on the line. And the reason we do that is, you know, in uh, the 8th grade, 
you're gonna be plotting two lines on the same graph. So if you don't label it, you can't tell what, which line is which. All right, so there's there are all the answers. Okay, now let's do one more where it's a word problem. And then we're gonna start all the way from scratch. Now, here you're saving money every week. You save 28,000 for a week. So let me ask you guys this, what's the unit rate here? What's the unit rate? How many dollars per week do you save? Think about that. $28 in four weeks is how much in one week? Think about that. Yeah, seven, right? So you save $7 A week so that means right so here we're gonna put a week all right because that's the x value on the top so and that's the amount of money you get so let's see if you work for a week how much money will you have yep seven if you work for two weeks how much money will you have that's right, 14, so on and so forth. So three is 21, four is 28, and five is, uh, let's see, five, seven is 35. Now notice also, uh, you need only five values. As a matter of fact, I, I made another mistake. Because if, let me ask you this, if you guys make zero, if you don't work, so zero weeks of work, how much money would you have? Yeah, zero, nothing, right? You don't work, you don't get paid, right? So looking at that, now I'm gonna write this as uh, the coordinates, so one comma seven, right? X, Y, right? Two, 14, three, 21, 4, 28, 5, 35. Okay, so let's plot these points. So one, I got my x, y axis, right? Make sure you label, because all the cool kids do it. Uh, and then here we have zero, zero, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, okay, fine. One, two, three. By the way, this is why you, if you're doing it at home, you'll probably need a graph paper to do so, okay? Now let's see, seven, seven, 14, 21, okay, seven, I'm gonna just skip two, okay? 14. I gotta read carefully here. 21, 28, 5, 35, right? Now let's plot these points. Now, by the way, so the x axis here, what does it represent? Right, weeks of work. So I'm gonna write weeks. And then here's the money. Okay, so let's plot some points. All right, all right, so we were interrupted by uh, this thing freezing. So let's continue, all right? So let's say one seven, two fourteen, three twenty one, four twenty eight, five thirty five. Let's connect these points. Uh, again, starting at zero, zero, like so. There you go. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, what else do I need to know? Oh, I need to have the title. 
right? So I need a title. What's the title? Uh, I'll call it saving money. Uh, what else? Okay, I need to know the rest of this information. Is the graph proportional? Yes, why? Right, straight line through the origin, right? It's, what's the constant proportionality? So what's the unit rate? What do you think, right? One is seven, two is 14. So how much money do you earn per week? We already said it, right? $7 per week, so that's the constant of proportionality. So K equals seven. What's the equation? Um, what do you think? Y equals what? Yep, 7x. Okay, so I'm going to write it on there. Let's see. Now, you already know in class. Oops. Now, you already know in class, I'm going to walk around and grade your paper. Can you do this? So let's see, let's see. Uh, am I missing anything? Okay, x, y, x is, they're all labeled, right? X, y, weeks, dollars, the numbers are all plotted correctly. The points are plotted correctly, straight line through the origin with the title and the equation. Yeah, so that's it. So here's what you're gonna do right now. So using a fresh sheet of graph paper, you're gonna solve this question on your own. All right, now for the interest of time, I actually have the answer already because I don't wanna spend another like 15 minutes doing two questions on here. So go ahead, solve this question. So here's what you do, you pause, set up the table values, graph it, all that stuff. I want the equation, I want all the labeling, I want the title, I, all that stuff, okay? So pause the video, do this right now. Okay, and we're back. So let me show you the table values first because I, I suspect that some of you might have gotten this wrong right off the bat. So this is the table values, right? Ounces to dollar, so one zero ounce costs you no money, one ounce costs you 250, two ounces cost you $5, three ounces cost you 750, four ounces cost you $10, five ounces cost you 1250. All right, now, if you made a mistake here already, don't worry about it. Redo this table right now, pause, and then still do the graph, okay? So just because you got this wrong doesn't mean you don't have to do anything. So, okay, all right, so here's the graph then. All right, here's the graph. Now I'm just gonna show you the answers because that would minimize me talking and that would minimize you having to watch this video any longer than you have to. So table values, All right here's the answer, or the answers, All right, you see that? And that's it, okay? Next question. Oops, shouldn't have shown you that. All right, here's the next question. All right, go ahead and do that. All right, pause. Okay, we're back. Here's the table. Again, if you somehow got the table wrong, fix it. Pause and then do the, 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 the graph right now. So pause right now. All right, here's the graph. Actually, let me just close this out. All right. Look again, I labeled everything. Everything's plotted correctly. Straight line to the origin and all of that. All right. So that wraps up today's uh, lesson. It's long, okay? It's probably going to be 15 to 20 minutes long, but I think it's just so much information and try to put all of that in one video where you still get to practice. I think this is... Uh, I think this is still useful and the best way to go. Okay, all right, let me stop this. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one. That was so good.